The Lord's Prayer, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children's Confession. Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. I thank you for my family, my home, my pastors, my teachers, and my church. I thank you that I am a child that is proper and obedient. Because I have been trained in the way I should go, and when I grow up, I will not depart from it. Father God, I declare that I am quick to learn, quick to understand, and qualified to do whatever I am asked to do. Because I can do all things through Christ who helps me. Therefore, I am never afraid because I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I cancel the plan and the assignment that the devil has planned against me. Devil, if I tell you to go, you must go. So go devil, in Jesus name. I declare that God's kingdom will be done in my life now. I walk in good health, victory, and wholeness. I have the favor of God in my life, and I live a life of prosperity because I'm a rightly directed child. In Jesus' name, amen. Preschool ministry rules. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 oh. Therefore, I will walk wherever I go, use my inside voice, keep my hands to myself and not harm anyone else. Speak kind words. Listen to my teachers while they are talking. Raise my hand to be recognized. And enjoy my learning experience. Hey, hey guys! My name is Raven. My name is Lee. And this month talk this month this this month talk, topic is being responsible. Good job. And now we're going to read a story. See ya story time. It's story time, it's story time. It's, it's story time. The Choices I Make, written by Michael Gordon, illustrated by Max Lauren. When Josh got home from preschool, he just wanted to play with his favorite toy. He thought about it all day, but when he looked, it wasn't where he thought it should be. He searched all over until he found it with Emily. That's my toy, sister. You stole it, an upset Josh cried. Emily looked shocked by his words. Her mouth opened wide. I borrowed it. I'm sorry. There's no need to be mad. She felt bad that she'd upset him. Her face looked so sad. Dad rushed upstairs after he heard Josh shout out. He said, Josh, what on earth is all the noise about? When Dad heard the story, he looked at Josh and said, Son, nothing is ever gained from losing your head. Did shouting make you feel better or worse, Josh? asked dad it seems you've made yourself feel worse and made emily sad calm yourself down by counting backwards from 10 in your head rather than yelling kindly ask for your toy back instead let's count 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Josh thought about the event after listening to Dad. He decided to stop and think next time before getting mad. Emily gave Josh his toy, and as he walked off to play, he thought he'll feel better by dealing with upset this way. Mom was making Emily's birthday cake later that week. Josh got very excited after sneaking a peek. He licked his lips. Mm -mm after he saw it and thought it looked nice. He wanted so much to reach out and grab a huge slice. 
He thought about eating it, then about what Emily might say. If there was no cake at her party, she'll have a sad birthday. Josh didn't want to upset his sister, so he decided to wait. He wanted to make sure Emily's party would be great. The next morning, Josh's friends came over for the day. They bought over a board game that they all wanted to play. It was a very close finish. Josh tried hard but didn't win. He hated losing games. He felt his anger begin. He wanted to throw the board into the air and stomp away, but he knew if he did that, he would ruin everyone's day. So he breathed slowly and deeply until the anger was gone. Then he said, Well done, guys. Good job. Let's get a new game. Later at the store, Josh and mom were standing in the queue. Josh wanted candy, but mom said no, and his temper grew. Please, mom, I really want candy, a frustrated Josh said. Mom repeated, no. Josh got more upset, his face turning red. He felt so angry and hot, he wanted to scream and shout. But he did what he knew would let the anger quietly out. He closed his eyes and counted slowly from 10 to 1 in his head. He didn't get candy, but he got to feel proud of himself instead. The end. So remember, boys and girls, just like Josh, you can take responsibility for your actions by thinking before you act. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoy the story. Hi, can you tell me your name? Edison. Edison. And what does it mean to be responsible? Clean up your space. Cleaning up your space. Can you give me any other examples? Do your chores. Do your chores. Good job. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Adriana. Can you tell me what it means to be responsible? To help someone. To help someone. Can you give me an example of when you were responsible? I helped my teacher by putting this stuff on the table. By putting the stuff on the table. Can you tell me your name? Braxton. Braxton. Can you tell me how are you responsible at home? Cleaning your room and helping people? Yep. Great. Hi, my name is Maria. I clean up my room. I go to church. I write a letter. I go to school. And those are ways you're responsible, right? Good. Hey, Logan. Can you tell me how you are responsible at home? Yeah. Tell me how. Yeah. What do you do? I just clean my toys. You clean up your toys when you're home with your mom? Yeah. Awesome job. Hey, preschoolers. I have a question for you. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? No? Well, let's see, have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah, someone that you can talk to and uh, play with, but nobody else around them can see, right? Guess what? It's kind of like that, but only he's very real. That's right. God's voice, that still small voice, that tug in your heart, right, when you feel really good, or even that feeling when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done. That's God speaking to your heart, and that's called the Holy Spirit. And we want to make certain that you invite him into your heart every day of your life, even right now, being five, six years old, you can have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you every day of your life. So let's pray together and ask for God's Spirit, his Holy Spirit, to love on you, and to get into your heart, okay? Let's get in a posture of prayer. Father God, right now, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that your Spirit leads us and guides us. Right now, whatever, whatever preschooler is watching, Lord God, we just ask that your Spirit overwhelm them with love, Lord God. Speak through their hearts, Lord God, and let them know that they are loved. In Jesus' name, amen. So, if you hear the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, feeling, feeling your heart with love, go with it, okay? All right, guys. Have a great day.
Join Right Direction Columbia Campus for the Back to School Bash for family fun, outdoor activities, and school supply giveaways on August 6, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Children's Ministry is also accepting school supply donations. Please drop off your donations at the Preschool Classroom, Kids Town, or Sanctuary Foyers. The Summer Reading Challenge has begun. From July 1st to July 31st, if the children collectively read a thousand books, they will win a pizza party. Reading logs are available at the infant, toddler, preschool, and kids town areas. Way to go preschoolers! Because you all display acts of kindness at home, school, and at church, we will celebrate with a party in the month of July. Parents, stay tuned for more details. With the summertime one and done services being available every Sunday at 9, Pre-K is now open every Sunday as well. We hope to see a preschooler there. Continue to join a preschool live every first Sunday and every Wednesday for a Bible lesson and more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Guest Time YouTube channel.